Garrett as well being the best defensive player in the NFL, in my opinion, is a 99 in Madden, the only player in the Cleveland Browns history to be a 99. Defensive end for the Browns, which they've really had no one that's really been even close to a 99, really. Nick Chubb right now is a 96, which he's probably the highest rated player besides him, and obviously Nick Chubb isn't going to get higher than Derrick Henry, who's a 98 right now, which I'm surprised he's a 99 either way. Which Miles Garrett in the 99 is definitely deserved. What do you guys think about this? And I think he has a definitely good chance to win the Defensive Player of the Year. I really gave an F about that fight. Tyron Woodley on his initial Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. Which I really want to see this fight more than the Jake Paul versus Tyron fight. Just because I think it would have been more entertaining to see him box. Someone who's actually had some experience. Even though Tommy Fury isn't like that much of a professional doing like really big fights. Which he's at least boxed someone at a professional level for a while. And that could be a bit more entertaining to watch than what we probably expect from to happen in the Tyron Woodley fight. Which Jake Paul needs to stop fighting former UFC fighters. And I don't know. I feel like kind of since Tommy Fury had a back out, he really had to add anyone in there. Which he's not going to do Ben Askren. Which does make sense. Which he should have just delayed the fight until he could find another opponent who's an actual boxer. Because people are not going to really want to watch this fight as much as they would want to watch the Tommy Fury fight. 100% I'm going to fight Canelo. Look at this guy, Yildrum. Why can he get a fight against Canelo, but I can't? Jake Paul, which I don't know if I would really want to see a fight versus Canelo versus Jake Paul. Jake Paul could wait for the rest of his life, and I don't think he'd ever get to the experience of Canelo and how good Canelo is compared to him. I just don't think Jake Paul can really conquer anyone who's a pro boxer. It might He might just do it for... Just publicity and things like that. Maybe he could beat Conor McGregor. I can maybe see that one day in a couple of years. Which, But he's not going to beat Canelo ever. The experience of Canelo versus him is just outrageous. And Yildrim would probably beat him in easily. He would get knocked out in the first round. There's no way he's ever going to become a good enough boxer to beat Canelo.